Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Comet Eisen, let me give you a quick update. But Comet Eisen, uh, according to Jesse Waltman at BP Earthwatch and other scientists, there's no question, Comet Eisen has survived the sun and is now moving away from the sun toward the earth. Now, it won't come, it won't hit us. Well, no, it won't hit us. It's supposed to be over top of us by 40 million miles. Jesse Waltman's uh, analyzed it about 41 million miles. But here's the problem. Comet Ison is coming apart in, in, in a ball of fire of shrapnel. A couple big rocks are in there. But as it fans out, so does the tail. Now get this. Comet Ison has traveled 10 million miles away from the sun. But its tail has, has widened by 5 million miles wide, and that's only in one, uh, just in the first 10 million miles. Now, if it keeps doing that, if the tail keeps widening by 5 million miles every day, by the time that Comet Ison goes over top the Earth, uh, we're talking 150 million miles wide of a tail. But the Comet Ison's only going to be 41 million miles from the Earth. So does that mean some of the tail of Ison actually breaks through the Earth's atmosphere? And certainly, what about the debris trail, which is 14 million miles long? And if the tail is that much wider, and if part of the nuclei has burst <coughs> into pieces and are falling back into the trail, then we have a scenario situation, folks, where there's going to be numerous, numerous amounts of asteroids and meteorites that are going to be in space, and we're going to go through that debris trail, that debris field. Now, especially, it's going to be critical during the month of January when we circle back around and go through that debris trail. That's going to be somewhere between January 12th and January 19th, known as the Seven Days of Passage. It may be very rocky. It may be very, very, very dangerous, to be quite honest, and could bring about a Revelation 8 moment where the Bible tells us that a uh, great fire and brimstone, a great lamp, like a burning lamp, hits the earth. Uh, actually, before it is news, I want to thank James McKay for this, but before it is news uh, has done an article. They did this back on Friday. Uh, they have me featured here where it says, Planet Killer, Ison headed our way. Comet Ison, tail and debris, revelation moment, possible. On Before It Is News. So if you want to read that uh, and watch those videos, it might help you understand. This was on Friday. I was talking about the tail and debris could create a revelation moment, is possible. But as of this morning, it's even more possible. Not saying it's going to happen. Scientists don't know. Jesse Waltman's not saying it will. But certainly, the odds are increasing the wider the tail gets. And so we're going to talk about that today in our show. Of course, I'll read it for you one more time, a couple verses. But in Revelation, when I, when I say the Revelation moment could happen, this is the moment. Revelation 8, 8 says, And the second angel sounded, as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea became blood, and a third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and a third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, there fell a great star from heaven burning, as it were, a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called Wormwood. And a third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. This is Revelation 8, 8 through 11, in specifically those three verses. Now, I'm just saying that that, is, that event is going to happen. It's in the Bible. It's prophesied. It will happen. The question is when. We don't know. But this comet Ison and the way it is breaking apart and the, and the debris trail and the fanning out is creating a possibility scientifically that this event that we read in Revelation could come to pass. 
Now, here's one thing for sure. That event will come to pass. Whether Eisen does it or not, I don't know. But I know this. The Bible's true, and we are living in the last days. And at some point, you have to ask Christ into your life and become and surrender your life. Believe upon him. Surrender your life to Jesus. Let him save you. And let's get things right with God. Time is running out. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Don't miss my show today. It starts at 12 noon Eastern, from 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Don't miss it. It's going to be a powerful show. Don't miss it today. I'll see you in a little bit. In Jesus' name.